Hey guys, so before we start the video, I just wanted to let you know that although VO3 is not free, uh, we do discuss at the end of this video how you can get it for free for 15 months. So make sure you stick around to the end and yeah, let's get into this video. Hey guys, so this will just be a quick video of how to use the image to video of VO3. So firstly, what you want to do is head to Google and search for Flow VO3. You want to make sure you have the word flow here and you'll find this website labs.google.whatever and that will open up flow here. Now the reason why we're using flow and not the other Google website is because on that other website they don't offer image to video, they only offer text to video. If you go through flow here, they offer image to video as well, which is what we're looking for. So I'm just going to close this. I already have logged in here. And when you first log in, you're just going to see this part here will be blank and there'll be a create new project button here. So you want to click on that. For me, I'm just going to click on the project I've already created here. And we'll be in this page here. Now, before I get started, I'm going to show you what I'm trying to do here. So if I head to my documents here, I just have this logo here. And what I want to do is basically animate this logo and make it say follow for more coding tips. So to do this, we just select here frame to video. And before we do anything here, we're going to need to write a prompt. So if you're not good at writing prompts, just use Gemini to do this. So the website is just aistudio.google.com. And you can ask it, like, write me a prompt to do this. So I'm just going to do that now. So once you're done writing the prompt here, you just want to select upload image. And I'm just going to give it that image to use as an example here. So I've told it, write me a prompt uh, to create a video with VO3. And I will give it an image. And I wanted to make that image say follow for more code tips. So this could take a couple of seconds. Gemini is not the fastest, but it will give you the best answer. So once this is done loading, it will give you something, but it might not be exactly what you want to copy and paste straight into flow here. So you just want to work with it to get a proper prompt. Like here, the prompt it gives us is animate the character from the provided image, blah, blah, blah. Just work with the Gemini here until you create a prompt that you like. And then head back to flow and down here you want to click this plus button and then you want to select upload here and you click i agree and then you just select the image that you want so i'm going to select my logo here and yeah i'll just crop and save this uh, i don't think we can use squares here we have to use a rectangle So I'll just crop and save this. Okay, and once that's done, now we can just type out our prompt here. So I'm just going to think something up and then type it in here. Okay, so the prompt I've written is an animated face saying follow for more code tips. And then I just gave it some keywords here like cartoon, animated, and fun, which are comma separated. Uh, you can type out your script however you want. I'm not sure what's the best way to get the best results. But yeah, then you just hit submit here. Okay, and I've just noticed a mistake here. I accidentally used VO2 instead of VO3. So I'm going to hit this three dots here and I'm going to say delete. And now it should cancel that. Uh, it did make some type of video here, but obviously we cancelled it, so it's not going to work properly. Uh, so down here, I just want to paste that same prompt in again. I'm going to copy it and paste it in. Uh, for the frames, I'll select the same image again. And then here at the top, I'm going to click settings here. And on under model here, we want to select VO3. So that's very important. If you don't do this manually, it's going to use VO2 by default, uh, like the mistake I just made. And then here you can select how many outputs do you want it to create. So if I select one here, it will only make one video. If I select two, it will give us two videos like we see here. I'm just going to leave it at the default two. And let's hit create here. Okay, so it looks like it's done generating the videos here. This one looks like it has a bit of a watermark at the bottom here. 
But let's play them and see what we got. Okay, so that's not really what I was looking for. I wanted it to actually speak the words unless this is muted or something, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, let me try this one next. Okay, I kind of like this one. Uh, the audio is not good again. I'm not sure what I did wrong there, but you can always just fix up your prompt here a bit. Uh, just head back and forth with Google AI Studio here or Gemini. Uh, by the way, you can select different models here to use with Gemini and this is all free to use. Uh, if you're using uh, Flow here to generate, it's not free to use, but if you click on Pro up here, you can see that I have a thousand credits for free. Now I only have 780 left, but they basically give you your first month free with a thousand credits. And then there's also uh, a way of using a student account to get 15 months for free. So I'm not going to cover that in this video just because there's a lot of videos that already talk about that and I don't have anything new to add to the topic. But yeah guys, this is how you do uh, image to video using VO3 on the Flow website. Follow for more code tips.